Oop, there we go. That's a big one. That's a big one, boys. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he's freaking massive. No, 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 no. Wow. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video, guys. We got a banger for y'all today. We caught some freaking toads in today's video. We went to a pond that I haven't been to in eight months and we caught some big ones. But before we hop into that, I wanna show you all something real quick. First things first, if you guys wanna check out the Kicking Their Bass TVX Lose combos, you can check them out on my website. We also dropped some new merch down there. So go head over to kickingtheirbass.com to get your rod and reel combos and Kicking Their Bass TV merch. And also thanks to everybody who supported me with the new Halloween drop. I've actually got a lot of pictures sent to my email and my Instagram and I just cannot thank you guys enough for everyone who supports the brand. Thank you so much. So everybody's always asking me, Noah, when are you going to give away some rod and reel combos? Well, Mock actually reached out and they have a little survey. So after this video is done, go in the description box down below, click on the survey, and I will pop up on the screen what you guys can win, but it's a lot of Mock rod and reel combos. So if you guys want to check that out after this video is over, go do that for me. I would really appreciate it. But guys, we got a banger. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're just going to hop right into this thing. I end up catching me a fall toad. You guys are going to want to see it. It put up a good fight. Let's go ahead and hop into it. It has been a long time since I fished this pond, but I will say the last time I came out here, smoked them. I mean, just destroyed them. It was around the springtime. I was catching them on bed. I wasn't like sight fishing them, but I, I knew they were on bed just the, by the way they were biting. Caught a lot of big fish and lost a lot of big fish too. Just hope they're gonna bite today. You know, it ain't the springtime right now. You know, we're creeping into this fall bite. So hopefully they're gonna be chewing on some bait fish just while we're throwing this chatter donk right here. Trying to get a reaction, see what we can do. Should be one right there. Right on the end of that bridge. I will say when it comes to fishing, little bridges or anything with a post in it like this, this little walkway, I feel like a lot of the fish, like you can catch them underneath, just like that. But a majority, oh no. That was a good bite, guys. That was our first bite today. Right there, gosh. Maybe I spoke too soon. Well, what I was saying is a majority of the time I would get bit on the ends, right here, up under the dock. But then again, you'll have some days where these fish will be more scattered on them and they'll be in the middle. And that was our first bite today. It was right there in the middle. Let's see if we can get this fish to bite again. I didn't hook him at all. Oh my God, did you see my rod tip? What was that? That fish is mean, guys, that fish is mean. That fish is mean. Dude, <laughs> what? Did y'all see my rod tip right there? That is crazy how hard that fish is hitting that bait. Skipping it right up under there, come on. He's not gonna bite again, are you kidding me? Bro, that was something else. That was the craziest bite I've had in a minute. I mean, he was slamming that thing, just wouldn't eat it. So when a fish bites like that, you know, a lot goes through my head. I'm like, am I throwing the wrong color? You know, if I switch colors, would the fish actually commit to the bait? Or are the fish just finicky today? You can actually see where this guy's teeth are on the back of it right there. Usually when you get bit, you can check your bait and you can see where it's kind of knocked up right there oh he actually got it look at this he actually got it a little bit further see his teeth right there behind the hook he pretty much instead of him biting right here and getting this hook he pretty much had it right here on the back end that was something else too i don't know i you know usually when you get a bite like that especially on a chatter donk it's a big fish but i mean i guess we'll never know unless he bites again there's something telling me that he's not even sitting there anymore he just 
He left there after we cast it probably five times. But he hit me, he hit me like three times. But that can be a good sign. That could either be a good sign or a bad sign for today, you know. Are these fish gonna eat really good or are they just gonna There he is right there? That's a different one. Right there on that side. <laughs> Look at this. Hopefully we're gonna get on a good bite. This is our first fish today, guys. We gotta start somewhere. Nothing big, but I mean, pretty bass. You gotta love that. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. Thank you for biting, buddy. He loaded up on it. Total different bite than what your buddy was doing under there. Hey, boy, tell your buddy to bite. I know he's a big daddy up in there. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, man. Well, there's our first fish, guys. Had to get on board. Maybe we can catch old big daddy here now. But look at that. So we got bit right there. Or no, it was that one. We got slammed there three times by that fish. I switched it up and threw under that one. And boom, first cast had a bite there. Let's see if there's one right here too. I was reeling that thing really slow and he just loaded up on it. You know, it wasn't nothing crazy. That fish right there slammed it, okay? This boy, he just loaded up on it. Oh my, guys, what is going on? What is going on? I'm gonna step back a little bit. That was like, a, that, was like that other bite, man. You had to follow me out. I know you guys have to be seeing my rod tip do that. I mean, these aren't, these aren't no little bites. They're just, thump. come on, big daddy. Let's see if we got any over here on this grass. Any grass bass, where the grass bass at? Oh my goodness, Noah. All right, big bass, it is time. We need you to bite a five, six pounder right here. Beautiful day outside. It feels amazing. He's out here enjoying life, enjoying nature, but we need us a five, six pounder. That would put the icing on the cake right there, boys. Here we go. That's a big one. That's a big one, boys. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he's freaking massive. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, like five, six pounds right there, boys. Walk him down. Oh my goodness, he might be bigger than that. That is a mega, boys. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Look at that. My heart is freaking racing. <laughs> that was like a six pounder right there and he choked that chatter dong baby. Oh my goodness. Did we just speak it into existence? Did we just speak that into existence? Oh my gosh. Our second fish today guys is a freaking mega. That is a mega right there. Get him in the sunlight a little better. That is a healthy bass right there. Super fat, chunky. That is exactly what we're going for today. Nice five, six pounder hunting for those big bass. And uh, we found them, baby. <laughs> See, this bite was very similar to that other one. That's exactly what's going on here. All right, boys, that is a beauty. That's exactly what we're looking for. Are them big five, six pounders of the fat belly like that fall time you know these fish are chewing up on some bait and and uh you know that just shows us right there them big girls are out they're willing to bite we just got to hunker down right now and see what other ones we can catch wow what a beautiful fish that's what makes you want to get out and do some fishing right there is when you hook into one like that you know that first fish we caught he ain't nothing special but i'll tell you he got us started and now we're about to catch some really big ones, guys. Stay tuned, hit the like button, baby, if you guys are enjoying it so far. Let's see what else we can get. There we go, boys. We got today's video started, right? We got two fish already. One of them's a freaking tank. Now, let me tell you my thought process and, and the reason I caught that fish right there. You know, my back right now is against the wind. We got all this wind pushing up on this bank. So, you know, we talked about it before. There's an, oh my gosh, guys. Sorry, I stopped talking because that guy was driving by. It was a little loud. 
So, you know, we talked about it just before. These bass were hanging under this bridge right here. Because, you know, all the bait that was coming through and they would ambush them. But all this wind right here is hitting that bank. And those fish can be posted up on that bank right there. And any bait that goes by, they're going to attack. And, you know, that's what, exactly where we just caught this big one. And I just threw another cast over there and I got slammed again. So those fish, are what, what the fish are telling me right now is they're loaded on that bank. And we need to be paying attention to these banks that have a bunch of this wind and water going up to them. You know, these fish are chewing right now. This is the fall time. You know, they're, they're feeding up on bait right now before we get into the winter. That's what these fish do. So knowing that we're going into that summer to fall transition, these fish are going to start biting a lot better. You know, temperatures are dropping, air temps are dropping, water temps are dropping. Bait is out, fish are biting. That's that's the definition right there of fall fishing. But let's see what else we can do, man. I know there's some more over there. We just got slammed again. Um, and I just want to catch another big one. That was fun. That, that just felt so good to catch a big bass. What's up? What are you doing, boy? Vision, what you gotta say to the people? What's poppin', people? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, bring that back. You know what's up? Had to show old Big Steve on the camera. I was actually in Atlanta. You know, that's where my family lives. And uh, me and my dad, we did a little bit of fishing by the pond next to his house. And we actually ended up catching like over 10. We weren't filming, we were just kind of fun fishing. And we were gonna film a couple videos for you guys when I was in town, but he actually hurt his back. So. You know, walking around the banks and doing all that. I didn't have my boat with me. It would be a little trouble on his back, but we'll get Big Steve back in some videos here soon. Next time I go up that way, I need to bring the boat and get some Lake Lanier videos. That would be a lot of fun. Look at that right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Big boil. Big boil right where I got. Come on, big daddy. I need that fish's brother. It's so shallow up here. It's like a big shallow flat. You guys wonder why I keep like popping my rod? Because there's a lot of this grass. So when I hit that grass and I can feel this chowder dong not rattling anymore, I just kind of pop my rod up like that, kick the grass off my bait. Sometimes I'll fire a fish to eat it too. You know, they see this thing pop up out of the grass and kick it all off. You know, they can turn up and eat that thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. come on, dude. I stuck that one too. I don't know why he didn't get stuck right there. Look at that boil he left. Man, that was his head. But he's still there. You see that? He just came right, right up to me right there. He knows he ain't doing nothing. Look at that boil. Holy cow, that was a big fish. Might have been multiple of them that were falling. I don't think that's the same fish. That's crazy right there. Boys, the big ones are out today. We just gotta capitalize. Come on, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. That was another one right there, guys. I just missed them. What in the world? They are not eating this thing all the way. They're like grabbing the back of it or something. Man. I've had so many bites, guys. I just can't get them pinned. I mean, that was a perfect example one loading up on it right there. I just think he had the back of it. Right there. Come on. This is us. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You don't make a boil like that if you ain't a 7, 8 pounder. What? Oh, no, no, no. What was that, guy? That's called Big Mac Daddy. You know that one we caught a second ago? That was his That was his daddy. And he's a daddy of his own, so that's granddaddy right there. That's a, that is a granddaddy bass, if I've seen him one. Did you see that boil? That, that was nothing to, to play around with. That was like, you don't even want to cast at me because I'm so dangerous. That's what that was. 
I'm gonna be real. That was either a massive bass or that could have been a carp. But it looked like he was chasing me. I don't think a carp would do that. <laughs> I really don't think a carp would be doing none of that. But hey, man, you never know. That was a big fish though, whatever it was. What do y'all think? Drop a comment down below based on y'all's experience and, and what you guys have seen. But I'll tell you, when you walk up, usually a carp can like, I don't know if it can just sense you or something. But I think there might be a lot of big fish on this edge. You see all this wind coming down? It's just sitting on this edge. Same thing they're doing on the other bank, but they're doing it right here. Well, it's about time. We gotta retire this swim bait, put this new one on. If you guys are wondering about the uh, chatter donk I'm using, I believe this is a 3 8 ounce green pumpkin. And to go with this green pumpkin color, I got a little swim bait here. But it's got like a greenish brown on top and it's got like a white body. It actually fits very well on this bait. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at that right there. Yeah, this is, I believe, a 3 8 ounce. I usually run with like a half, but the 3 8 has honestly been going pretty good and I can still beam this thing. I cannot believe there's not a fish in this corner. We fish all the way down this bank, all the way as far as we can go. I have yet to have a nibble. I can tell you one thing that's changed since getting all them bites is the sun's came out. I don't know if that's kind of turning those fish off, but I haven't seen any activity, nor have I had another bite since the sun has peeked through the clouds. The conditions were sitting perfect for those bass to roam and chew on bait, and you know, that's what they were doing. It wasn't like we were catching a ton, but they were biting. I guess we just got to keep on moving. There he is. Tiny. Freaking tiny. Oh my gosh, you're no bigger than my chowder dunk. How do we go from catching your granddaddy to catching you? On the same bait. Interesting. But hey, buddy. Thank you for biting. I'll take it. He's a fatty, too. Look at that. That is a future tank. You, sir, are a future toad. Thank you for biting. <laughs> there he goes. I'm about to say, when I leaned back on that fish, I didn't feel nothing. I'm like, but I knew there was something on there. It was just a tiny dude. Well, that's three fish so far. Let's keep it going. Oh, look at that. That's gotta be a carp. It's gotta be a carp. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. That's what that was earlier, both of those times. There he is. Oh, he came off, dude. It's like a two and a half pounder. I'm having a hard time sticking these fish, guys. They're just not getting pinned. I'm wondering if it's my hook or if it's Hook's pretty sharp. I mean, I I, don't, I can see a reason why that's the case. It could just be how they're eating it, you know. I, I don't know. That's weird. I keep missing fish like that. We probably could already add six, seven fish today if I would actually land the ones that have bit me. But you know, that's fishing. It happens. At least we caught that big, big mag daddy. At least it didn't happen on that one, right? That's how we got to look at it. Wow, that was crazy. That was awesome right there. I didn't even reel my bait. He was already on it. I skipped it under there, just done. Holy cow. Look at that fish. Not a big one, but that's a solid pound and a half or they're just healthy. You know, you can tell these fish are feeding up. Their bellies are so big. I, I literally cast it under there. I didn't even click my reel yet and he already had it. That was one of the coolest bites I've had in quite a minute. Thank you, buddy actually just about to leave out of here. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. 
There we go. That was pretty slick. I wonder if there's another one up in there. That fish was ready. He's probably sitting there like I was talking about, guys. It's right on that piling. Right on that little wood post there. All right. Time to get to the next spot. All right. We're at a new pond now. Let's see what we can do here. I have not fished this pond in a very long time. It almost looks like it's, it's so low. The water's ridiculously low in here. Hoping these fish are gonna bite. Like I'm looking at stuff out there that I usually never see. There's like a pipe right there. There's a bunch of grass, a bunch of flat land. Hoping these fish are gonna bite in here. Usually this pond doesn't have a ton of grass either, which is interesting. It's a huge flat out here in the middle. Usually a lot of fish. Hang on, there's a flat and a bunch of trees. There he is right there, instantly. Holy cow. He ain't big, but hey, he freaking snapped on that thing. All right, buddy, calm down, calm down, Jimmy. Yep, yep, mm, come on. Yeah, boy, right in the nose right there. Give him a little nose piercing, oh my goodness. You see that down in his throat? I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a little bluegill tail or something. Some sort of bait fish. You've been eating, buddy. Thank you. He's, he's fat. He's fat and healthy. He just ain't big. All those fish we caught today have just been so healthy. It has been slow today, guys. I mean, we've, we've still been able to get some bites and catch some fish, but I did not think I would come to a new pond and get hit that quick. I mean, I thought I had another one. And that was like my second cast. I'm already getting slammed. That's a pretty good sign. The other pond, we really had to work for him. I mean, it probably took me 45 minutes before I even had my first fish. And between those other ones, probably 30 minutes. I mean, it was not, it was not an easy thing. So if we can catch him like that in here, I'm gonna be happy. It should be a lot. Oh my gosh, look at that boil. Let's see, come on boy. That's a big one. Feels good. It's like a two pounder. Oh my God, I got one trying to get it out of his mouth, guys. They're loaded here, freaking loaded. Like a two pound. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. We doing it now. We doing it now. Thank you, buddy, for biting. You beautiful fish. Look at that. That's a nice one. You freaking hammered that. There was literally a fish right next to him. It's so shallow out here, I can see everything. Probably shouldn't have stepped in that. That was muddy as heck had one right next to him trying to steal it out of his mouth these fish are loaded guys this is about to be insane as i threw that cast too i had some other ones hitting the surface right oh my god i had another one what is going on i got another one. Oh my gosh guys are loaded they're loaded i stuck that fish this is crazy dude look at that right there oh my gosh oh my gosh y'all are crackheads man y'all are crazy these fish are going insane. They are going insane, and he's hitting me again. Oh my goodness. Put, put on another bait, Noah. I might have to come out here and film another video. Golly. <laughs> this is crazy. This is something else. I love it. I will say, one of the key stories today has been these fish just are not committing. These fish right here, I think, might be a tad smaller. But even the bigger ones earlier, they, they weren't, you know, they, they just weren't eating it right. They weren't getting on that thing. I don't know why, that, but, you know, they just went, went and get it all the way. It could have been the color. I mean, there's one right there. I mean, they're just, oh my God, that's a nice one. Look at this. What did we find here? We find a little honey hole oh little honey hole the fatties dude i mean just look at how healthy these bass are i'm i'm more amazed by how how good these bass are doing in these ponds and i haven't fished these ponds in a very long time and to know that we can come out here after not being out here in forever and just catch these fish not only catch these fish but see them more healthier than they've ever been it's just a good feeling the last time i actually fished this i fished it with a dub and he caught a few good ones. I had a couple decent ones, and he actually lost one that's probably close to five pounds. Hopefully, we'll get on some of that here in a second. Oh my goodness. I thought I was just stuck on the bottom or something. Dude, he is he's going crazy on me right now. He should, he should eat it right here. Come on. 
That's the craziest thing. He probably bit me five, six times. Oh my. <laughs> Let it sink there and he had it high in his mouth. Fish or something, man. They're doing everything but eating it. Dancing on it, putting it in their mouth and flossing their teeth with it. They just are not eating it. Except for that one. The little tiny guy, that's why. I mean, just tiny trying to eat this bait. Look how fat he is, too. I mean, it, just a <laughs> little brute. A little brute. A mean one. We got us a little grass fish for our last fish. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you guys want to see some more content, comment this down below. Let me know. If you guys have a suggestion on some videos, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next video.